This video shows the steps required to change the camshaft and bushes on a BPW drum braked axle. The tool table shows the tools required to complete the task and to set up the brakes correctly afterwards. In addition, you will require a grease gun filled with BPW Eco Li Plus grease. You will also require brake cleaner solution and some rags. Loosen and remove the hubcap. This is easier to do when the wheel and tire are still on the ground. Carefully remove the hubcap sealing o-ring. Remove the spindle nut locking block and clip. It is advisable to stow this in the hubcap for safety whilst the work on the camshaft is carried out. Loosen the spindle bolt. This action also withdraws the hub, wheel and tyre from its location on the spindle end. At this point, raise the wheel clear of the ground and support the axle with an axle stand. Use a wheel trolley to support and withdraw the wheel, tyre and hub assembly. Remove the split pin and clevis pin on the brake cylinder push rod. Slacken and remove the camshaft locking nut. Disengage the slack adjuster from the brake cylinder fork end and remove from the camshaft. Remove the spacer washer from the recess on the slack adjuster. Use a flat bladed screwdriver to release the springs at the rear of the brake shoes. Use a small pry bar to lift the brake shoes off the C-clips on the brake anchor pins. Then remove the shoes from the anchor pins and camshaft. Loosen and remove the four nuts and bolts that secure the inner camshaft bearing and automatic slack adjuster reaction bracket. Remove the inner spacing collar and the inner spherical bearing and housings. Remove the clip that secures the outer bearing dust seal. Slide the dust seal away. Using circlip pliers, remove the inner circlip and slide down towards the free end of the camshaft. Remove the camshaft by sliding outwards and remove the displaced components. Remove the outer camshaft bush by using the BPW camshaft bush mandrel part number 05-001-04-040. Clean the surfaces of the bearing housing prior to refitment of the new camshaft bearing assembly.
BPW Limited can provide a camshaft repair kit which contains all the new parts required to support the fitment of the new camshaft. The outer bush is positioned with the wide grease reservoir groove positioned to the inside of the axle as shown. Use the mandrel to fit the new bush. It is important that the new bush is recessed 7.2 mm back from the edge of the housing. The mandrel is machined to automatically set the bush into the housing by this distance. The recess can clearly be seen here. The camshaft needs a degree of subassembly prior to mounting on the axle. The order of the components is the outer circlip, shouldered washer, green o-ring and black o-ring. Note the positions of the new components, and in particular, the black O-ring. Apply BPW Eco Ally Plus Grease to the black O-ring and the green O-ring and shouldered washer. Place the new camshaft through the outer bush and approximately halfway home. Place the remaining outer bush components onto the camshaft being careful to get them in the correct order. Start with the Belleville washer, ensuring that the dished profile seals the outer edges against the bearing housing. Follow with the circlip. Place the inner dust cover and the dust cover lock ring. Carefully slide the camshaft assembly fully home ensuring that the black and green o-rings are not damaged during this step. Position the Belleville washer and engage the circlip fully in the groove in the camshaft. Slide the dust cover into position, ensuring that it is correctly located into the groove in the camshaft. Place the lock ring over the dust cover and close the lock ring with pincers. Assemble the seals onto the inner camshaft spherical bearing. Ensure that the seal with the ribs on is placed away from the grease nipple. This seal will eventually seal onto the spacer bush as shown. Assemble the clamshell housings onto the spherical bearing. Place the assembly onto the camshaft with the grease nipple facing the wheel and the ribbed seal facing inwards. Locate the two bolts that will secure the spherical bearing assembly to the camshaft bearing bracket as shown. Then locate the two bolts that will secure the bearing assembly and the reaction bracket, as shown. Place the spacer into position, as shown. 
tighten only the two bolts fully that do not secure the reaction bracket. Leave the other two bolts loose so that the reaction bracket can be positioned during brake setup. Apply BPW Eco Li Plus grease to the splines on the end of the camshaft. Refit the automatic slack adjuster, ensuring that the adjusting lever is correctly located into the reaction bracket. Place the spacer washer, followed by the wear indicator, followed by the camshaft locking nut. Position the slack adjuster lever into the yoke, lubricate and insert the clevis pin, and secure with the split pin. Refit the brake shoes, positioning the upper shoe first. Ensure that the brake shoes are firmly seated onto the brake anchor pins and C-clips. Refit the brake shoe rear retaining springs with the aid of a flat bladed screwdriver. Clean the axle spindle end and bearing journals with brake cleaner. Remove any evidence of fretting corrosion and use a very fine emery cloth if necessary. Apply a thin coat of BPW Eco Li Plus grease to the spindle end and bearing journals. Assemble the road wheel, drum and hub assembly. Ensure that the tab on the thrust washer engages with the groove in the spindle end. Tighten the spindle nut whilst rotating the wheel. The spindle nut is a self-torquing device, and when it slips over twice, then it is at the correct torque setting to remove all free play from the bearings. Check the hubcap o-ring for damage or flat spots. Replace if necessary. Replace it back into the groove in the hub. Check that the spindle nut locking block and spring clip are in good condition. Replace them if in doubt. Ensure that the splines on the block engage fully with those on the inside rim of the spindle nut. Ensure that the locking spring is secured around the outside of the flange on the spindle nut. Align the pin and pointer on the body of the automatic slack adjuster as shown. Tighten the two remaining nuts and bolts that secure the slack adjuster in a bearing assembly and the reaction bracket. Please ensure to fully depress the clutch mechanism on the slack adjuster before carrying out brake adjustment. Using a good quality 90mm socket, adjust the automatic slack adjuster in a clockwise direction until the brakes bind. 
from the bind position, back off the brakes by turning the socket in an anti-clockwise direction by a full half turn. This will give the correct 0.7mm of clearance between the brake drum and the shoes. Ensure that you clean and replace the slack adjuster dust cover. Tighten the camshaft locking nut, ensuring that the orange brake wear indicator is perpendicular. Apply BPW Eco Li Plus grease to the outer and inner camshaft bearings until fresh grease is visible under the dust seals. Remove the dust cover from the automatic slack adjuster and apply grease to the slack adjuster until fresh grease appears around the adjusting bolt. Remove the old soiled grease and clean around the slack adjuster and replace the cap. Replace the hubcap. Tighten with a torque wrench to 350 Newton meters.